how nice is this? Let's talk credibility. I just want to lay it out there. Everybody has different levels of credibility and different levels of experience. Just that I'd share with you mine. Right, at the age of 22, I started a fair trade company. Fair trade, now I think everybody knows about it. In those early days, it was quite a new thing. So a fair trade company, oh, by the way, that's the C behind me. So I'll try and speak quite loud because it's quite loud. Fair trade, because I just thought the world should be fair and I still pretty much do. Uh, I ran that business for seven years. So what that taught me was cash flow, staff management, stock management, all things that are amazing for property. I then reckoned at the age of 29, I, oh, I, I grew it from like a little tiny, like, you know, you know the, the paint, like a pasting table for wallpaper. I had one of them when I started and that was it. I just had enough stock to only just cover the wallpaper pasting table. And I ended up growing it. I had five shops. I used to send out, um, I used to do markets. Um, I used to do festivals, Glastonbury, um, a V2, th that, that dates me, V2000. There you go. Yes, uh, uh, WOMAD, all of those fantastic big festivals as well as lots of little festivals and county fairs and things. So that was really understanding how to grow a business from grassroots, how to manage cash flow, just how to really develop. I then um, thought I'd better probably get a job. I better un have a greater appreciation and understanding what skills I need in business. I was always hugely interested in business. So I did four jobs, count them, four, <laughs> four. <laughs> I only ever wanted to do four jobs because I knew basically at heart I was a, a, a self-employed person but I also thought I probably needed some skills so I, I went and worked in economic development what did that mean for my business it meant that I was a director by that point of um, an international marketing project for Scottish Kashmir so I had a lot of Scottish Kashmir honey and then I advised 14 different companies at board level and that was just fascinating because that was a real experience I mean I brought with me quite a lot of knowledge and ability but also I, I gained a huge amount of learning up so real experience and understanding that with the same base product the management of the company made the difference between profit and loss success or failure major international player or minor two bit going out of business fascinating same raw material all about the people so that was amazing i then jumped um i mean i loved that but it was also very interesting i was down in the scottish borders i then went to edinburgh and i worked in a high growth startup charity uh, which put young people into volunteering positions including people with disabilities which was probably the most interesting but and also sometimes the most what's the word sad to see that there wasn't a natural pathway for those guys so it was really great to get them into volunteering positions to develop some of their skills because you never know what's going to come of that um, and that was a, that was a very very high growth startup charity so although it was charity it was hugely uh, high growth I think we did a million volunteering hours in something like 18 months I mean it was huge you know from standing start I was the third employee I then went down to Bristol because my kids were older and I just felt, you know, this beautiful... We always lived in farmhouses. Um, I was always totally skint because I was buying up the houses, doing them up. Um, but we lived with a dog. We, I'd open the door. You know, I had acres of land. I did 20 organic vegetable patches. I did willow weaving, grew myself my own rose garden. Because at night time, I'm not so bothered about television and my kids were asleep. So what do you do? You garden until it gets dark. You know, you do creativity. And I've always had loads of energy. And I used to throw open the door and, and the kids would just go out and play, you know, and then you'd be like, oh, I hope they're okay, hurry up. <laughs> you know, when it was tea time, but they had this kind of Enid Blyton childhood. But when they became older, I just thought, no, they're gonna need, they're gonna need city, they're gonna need um, uh, stimulation, and energy from a city. So we moved to Bristol, which is just the most amazing city. Of course, with my economic development head on, I decided to assess the city, didn't I? I was like, well, if I don't like the first job, I need to know that there's plenty of other jobs within walking distance, because that was one of my criteria, because I'd commuted for years and commuting, as anyone who commutes knows, is not super fun. I need to be able to walk to the next job. And um, I need to also to be able to choose already. I was trying to choose. Oh, I think that leaked the alarm, but we'll see if this film keeps going. I need to be able to choose um, my job. So already I was like, no, 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 no. The, the man doesn't own me. I own my life. And then I had two director level jobs. I ran KISS, the radio station. So pretty major job, but don't think I'm cool. This is the dance music station, people. It's the one in Bristol, not the one in London. I was um, sales director. 
but do not think I was like that high level though it was a quite high level job it was shareholder uh, owned company it was uh, registered in FTSE 100 we used to go to London for really fascinating meetings but I was also so uncool that I didn't recognize Rihanna when uh, Umbrella was huge she was in the studio I'm like who's that girl see but in terms of credibility professionalism that job taught me loads about managing teams, about sales, uh, uh, really about reporting in to, to a FTSE 100 company, you know, when you're running the subsidiary. Uh, I had um, an interesting time with one boss and I had the most amazing, stimulating, motivating boss. So I had like a double, a double whammy. I experienced poof, both sides, that and this wonderful experience at the same time. And, and that was wonderful to be on the receiving end of, to see what a high level professional, really high level director um, delivers. And then my final job before I came into property was again a director level job. So you notice I had three director level jobs out of my four uh, jobs. And I was marketing director of the SS Great Britain, which was an honor. Um, an eccentric, crazy, stimulating, intellectual, intelligent, fascinating, kind hearted honor. It says Great Britain for anyone that doesn't know is quite iconic, well it's very iconic in Bristol, uh, you know, it's, the SS Great Britain is a piece of maritime history that can never be repeated and uh, I was the marketing director so that was a, a real honour. But even then, it, the, the, the job was amazing but I always knew I wanted to run my own life, I always knew I wanted to choose what I did, I always knew I wanted financial freedom, I always knew I wanted this. I now do 182 days holiday. A lot of the time I spend time with people I love, family and friends. I also go exploring. I'm currently in Bali, halfway around the world. And I knew that a job where you only get, I don't know, 21 days holiday plus your banks. You know, whatever, however amazing the job was, it wasn't the life, we're only alive once. It wasn't the life that I wanted to create for myself. I wanted security and I've got that now. I wanted financial freedom, which is assets paying bills. I got that now. I wanted travel, exploration, time with people I love. We are only alive once, only once. And I want that to count enormously. I want every moment to count. My work, I want it to be meaningful and strong and good and useful for you guys as well as for me. So, you know, go to the website, thegoodpropertycompany.co.uk. I produce very high quality education material for you guys. You can download them straight away. I got loads of free stuff and there's some stuff you gotta pay for, but hun, they are so worth it. If that's gonna give you financial freedom, go get them. And then I want my happy life to be meaningful too, isn't it? You know, you're only alive once. So there you go. There's a little bit of philosophy. First thing in the morning, I'm off to go snorkeling and see some temples today. But more importantly, I reckon it's understanding some of the credibility that lies behind TGPC in terms of the experiences and the previous um, business, the fair trade business, and then the four jobs. One was a very high growth startup and three were director level jobs, which really allows me to bring knowledge and experience into helping you guys as well as growing my own business. So for you guys, whatever business you've got, whatever, experience you've got, understand what is going to help you, what's going to hinder you, use the stuff that helps you, discard the stuff that hinders you, and crack on people. I mean, you're only alive once and the time is ticking, so let's get going. Let's jump yourself into property. It's going to be pretty hard for a few years. You're going to be skint, you're going to be tired, you're going to have moments of going, what am I doing? But pun, it is so worth it. If you can hear me over the sea, you know that if I can do it, you can do it. Good luck to you.